740. The Fan. How do you hit the race from what happened last year? Or not erase, but how do you uh, file that away and start brand new with all the success? The coach is doing a real good job with that. Uh, we have his uh, patterns, our conditioning. <laughs> and so when, when workouts started, our strength and conditioning coach did a real good job letting us know we're not going to take any breaks, we're not going to lighten up. We actually been, I think this summer has been the hardest summer of workouts and conditioning. And I think it's because they don't want us to get complacent. Right. They don't want us to be cool with just, like, yeah, we want it, but it's a new season. So as players, do you uh, also, without the coach's help, players uh, without getting too deep on the inside, you guys know it, you guys realize it, you, you want to taste the success, success again, right? Yeah, we, uh, the older guys realize it, I feel like, because this class, like my class and the older class, we were here with the three and eight season, and yeah. we know it's it's not a walk in the park and how, I think they went from 10 and one, 10 and one, and they got complacent, and they kind of fell off, we don't want to do that. And so we let the freshmen know when they come in, they help us, and that we don't take breaks. Anymore. So you get back on the field, uh, what are you looking forward to this year as far as, you know, maybe short-term goals or some long-term goals for you? And the team. Obviously, we know what the long-term goal will be. Yeah. But how about getting started right now? What are you looking at? Just start getting re- getting ready for this first game because we got a lot of work to do. We had our first practice yesterday, and then we got little mistakes, like footwork, hustling too long, and all that good stuff. But defensively, I, I feel good. We we got some things to work on, and offensively, I know they're gonna get, get their stuff done. And uh, let's talk about the the place where we're sitting, the brand new field. Uh, six times this year, this place will be completely sold out and maybe even a couple more maybe in the postseason if that so lucky to get there. Uh, talk about that excitement of what this, uh, what Bison football is percolating to become. It's, it's really exciting. I feel like it's getting back to what it used to be back in the day. And uh, this new turf, I don't, it puts a lid on it. Like, it's, <laughs> this is amazing. Like, coming from uh, getting burnt every time we practice on here to actually, we can actually practice on here and be okay afterwards. Sure. It's, it's nice. It's real nice knowing that uh, the community and everything's behind you too. Does the team feel that? Does the team feel out, uh, feel or know that you know they're obviously aware of all the season tickets gone one day, or the you know the single game tickets. The team is aware of that. They want to impress everyone. They want to play good. Yeah, we got a, we got a lot of we're we're excited. We're, we go out to practice and everybody's jumping around, having a good time. But we know we have to put in work, and so that's what that's what it is. We're staying hungry. Do you think it'll be harder um, now with the X on your back, and maybe instead of chasing somebody, you've had the X on their back before? I don't think so. Uh, that's all we've been hearing is the, this, yeah. act, this target on our back, and I know our coach put it, our position coach put it in really good. We got to act like we're putting the target on everybody else's back. So we got to act like we're coming at them, even though we know people are trying to knock us off. And sure. We can't let them do it. Sure, everyone gets up for the Yankees. Oh yeah, you know right. what I mean? It's like right, that, yeah. that, and that's the, the new reality. Kind right, of. everybody wants to take them out, but they know that they have to do what they have to do, so nobody can knock them. All right, Levon Perry. NDSU Bison ready to do it again here at Gate City Bank Field at the Fargo Dome. 740. The Fan.